Hey everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Plus as Queen Constance II, Queen of England and France. And uh, we've got some good news, I obviously skipped the time uh, it took for our army to arrive here in Bulgaria. And just as we landed, we actually got a strong claim on the Duchy of Tornovo. Now this costs quite a lot of gold, 1,400, and we actually had enough, but I just spent quite a lot of money on various improvements. Uh, most importantly, I've decided to build soup kitchens in most of our hospitals. Actually, we have... Wait, where do we not have soup kit? There you go. Yeah, so I've, I've built a few of the soup kitchens because we are, on one hand, charitable and we're also gluttonous. So I thought this is kind of the best way to represent that. Um, but yeah, so now we kind of lack the coin to properly uh, get this claim. And I don't think I can go forward without it, but I'm still going to take it. Um, so we're going to get that strong claim on the Duchy of Tornova, which is basically all we need in order to... Um, yeah, get the Kingdom of Bulgaria started, and that should allow us to get the Latin Empire. Uh, we'll see if that's possible, but for now, let's... Well, there's kind of an issue, because we're about to fight a battle. Um, I think we will do it still. We will lose a little bit of morale, if I'm not mistaken. Um, <clears throat> so this could be a problem, but I hope we can still catch them. Okay, they're not running away. Okay, there you go. Awesome. So it's our husband fighting against an incredible general, Marco, uh, who's, yeah, brilliant. Inspiring as well. Very ambitious man. But I hope that our husband can win and perhaps die in the fighting. Although he is a skilled fighter. We'll have to see how, how well he does. But he seems to be just cutting through these men without issue. Okay, yeah. Well, there you go. Um, that was pretty significant. Um, I don't know if we want to just follow them. Honestly, we control Bulgaria. We could just let the ticking war score do the rest, but I don't know how I feel about this. And you've gotten us a claim, so, uh, yeah, what are we going to do now? What's going on here? What are our vassals doing? Attacking Duchess Therese, or Teresa, for a new ruler of Gascogne. Okay, so she's in a war with three dukes and two counts. We'll see if she can actually... Uh, defend. Uh, I'm not. I'm not certain. I'm not certain. Her vassal or her heir is the Duchess of Marrakesh. Oh wow, that would actually make them even more powerful if they were to were to if they were to absorb this uh, duchy as well. But they at least lost this one. Um, we'll have to see how things develop. But uh, the problem is, I cannot change my succession law uh, while we have people fighting. So they kind of, our vassals need to be at peace, they need to like us, and we need to be at peace as well. So there's quite a few things we need to do before we can, uh, oh, you died, before we can actually change our succession. Anyway, um, what am I going to do with my chancellor? Do I have anyone who hates me? Because we might want to improve relations with them. Duke of Hereford, uh, and the Duchess of Bedford, my kin, hmm. What do you control? You control this duchy. Is there anything you do right now? Hmm, we might want to improve relations with you. Let's let's go ahead and do that. There you go. All right. Now let's focus back on this war. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that we're gonna have to stand down these troops, and then only then we can declare war on this guy. And we're also threatening, so we probably have to wait for our threat to decay because I don't really feel like fighting an entire um, defensive pact right now. One part of being charitable is to harbor the homeless. Several villages have been destroyed in the storm and the peasants need somewhere to live. I can let them stay in one of my castles, which I think we will. Uh, yes, for sure, we will do that. Um, okay, and we kind of need to... <clears throat> Catch these 5,000 men. I want to be done with this war. And Jacob the Liberator has usurped the title. Okay. Oh, he's the King of Aragon now. Wow. There is Andalusia, Aragon, Leon, Castile, Galicia, Asturias. So many goddamn titles uh, and kingdoms in Iberia. It's insane. But yeah, we'll actually need to appoint someone leading that flank there. Uh, Richard the Fat. He's a brilliant strategist, but only has nine marshal. 
because he's a craven. And he's kind of disfigured. Uh, but we'll still let him fight. I don't, I wouldn't mind having Raymond take over. Um, so that's okay. Now, 5,000 men. Crushed. And that's the end of the war. Perfect. So, uh, we'll imprison you first. You, you don't actually look all that impressive now. The fifth liberation of Bulgaria. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's execution. Uh, I don't remember how we've done this before, but I think hanging is seems like... Seems, seems fine. Uh, in fact, we'll probably stand down these ships as well. And our father-in-law, the king... Ego the Usurper, King of Croatia. Uh, sure, we'll attend, of course. Why not? And we'll stand down these troops. And, yeah. We'll probably check out this first. Oh, yes. The Bulgarian Revolt is over. Now, hmm. Teach them a lesson. Find a less violent way. I think this is what we're going to do. I don't see this as violent, so... We'll go with this. But if they rebel again <clears throat> during our rule, I feel like uh, we, we might we might be a bit, ha a bit harsher. Uh, but for now, we kind of need to convince them. Um, demand tribute. No, I want you as vassal. You won't accept that. That's too bad because that means I'm going to have to declare war on you. An attractive man. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, let's move forward. We'll need to wait for... First of all, we need to wait for our threat to TK, and we need to get a little bit of money back as well. Okay, our father-in-law has been crowned at the age of 55. That's rather old. I wonder if we can at least get in lines out of this. No, we cannot. That's so strange. Oh, oh, look at this. Our husband... Oh, I didn't know he was actually heir to Croatia for some reason. That is news to me. Hmm. Well, someone was mentioning... How we could potentially marry one of our kids matrilineally to a calling. And that seems like an interesting idea that we might want to do if this elective succession does not work. Um, officially crowned King of Aragon. I'm apparently busy. And, oh, well, I'm currently in a different coronation, I see. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. We're in Croatia, so we can't go. Uh, to the coronation of the Aragonese king. Uh, but we're soon out of debt, which is great. So far, we've not had any bad events happen, which I'm very glad about. Um, and we've approved relations with the Duke. Wow, okay, well, we have a long way to go. Faction disapproves, female ruler, too many held duchies, desires king of England. And what's this? Yes, prosperity. We'll always try and improve prosperity. I think that's good. Fraticelli. Has he actually convert in, co converted anything? No. Everything is Catholic still. Okay, that's good. And it looks like the defensive pact has been disbanded, which is ideal. So I should be able to declare the war now. Claim Tornava. No, it still says that there's a lot of people. And there's people voting against it as well. Duke Louis. We need our Chancellor on our side, or our Spy Masters. Duchess Amelia. She wants to weaken a vassal, a fellow vassal. Duchess Teresa, yeah. How is she doing anyway? Is she winning her war? No! She's actually losing against our Spy Masters. Oof, okay. So she's losing power. This is kind of interesting. Um, which is maybe not the best for us, because she actually likes us quite a bit. And we can raise stupid amounts of troops and ships from her. So, I don't know if we necessarily want it to be that weakened. But anyways, let's move forward. We'll finally get a little bit of money. Uh, I don't think I care about this guy. <laughs> he's gonna die anyways. He's blind, has chest pains, and he's been expelled uh, or excommunicated. So yeah, I don't know. You died in a battle against France. Who is Franz? Uh, okay. Just some peasant. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. This is a, uh, a peasant and a command of, of our chancellor. 
So this is happening in this battle right now. Uh, Burgundy has declared a war on uh, on the Duke of Berry over Nevers. And uh, yeah, the Lord died. Louis the Second, wounded by a peasant. That is kind of funny. Um, uh, but he seems to be winning the 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 battle itself. So that's kind of good. Yeah. The battle is, is going to be won. So there you go. We've improved relations once again. Awesome. That's really cool. We're actually going to make this guy like us. And we do need a new advisor. Now, I wonder if... Yeah, we don't have any friends. I think it only makes sense to have Duchess Teresa as our advisor. I mean, she's she's kind of the most powerful vassal in the realm. For some reason, she is not angry for not being on a council. Uh, that's weird. She should be. Maybe because she's in a in a war. I could imagine that to be a problem. And there's another plot. Oh, she wants to... Oh, wow. So our advisor and our spy masters really hate each other. I wonder if they're rivals. That would be actually kind of cool. No, they're not. She's got so many friends as well. Hui. That's interesting. This guy doesn't happen to be my rival. No. Okay. He's got many friends too. Okay, we're going to keep an eye on that. But for now, I've helped this off for long enough. Let's... Claim Tunova, now the council's on board. Um, so yeah, let's claim the duchy so we can form the kingdom. And then... Yeah, well, we'll do the rest. Perhaps the empire, that would be nice. Now, our husband is leading, that's perfect. Uh, Mayor of St. Quentin. And we'll have Richard, Duke of Verona. Get on the ships, just like we did last time. We'll sail here for Mesembria. And we'll take what's rightfully ours. What's this now? Uh, do I want to join him for crossing? Well, I think we could. But who are... Why are you important? In fact, you're not. So I'm not going to come. Who, who are you? Why, why do you... Why do I care about you? I don't know. Um, we finished our ambition. Or we failed our ambition. It's kind of hard to say. But it's... We gotta pick a new one anyway. We could go for having a daughter. Becoming Emperor or Empress. I think that's what we want. We're not as ambitious as our father. Earning a nickname could be something. Known for virtue, I don't think so. Reign for 20 years, assemble a great council, change your province culture, fall in love, have five children, become exalted. I suppose we're going to go for the Empress thing. Yeah, let's see if that if that works. That's... And actually, I was speaking of our father, but obviously that's not our father. Uh, it's our uncle. Charles was our uncle. Um, yeah, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and Duke of Burgundy has now usurped this title. So his father died. But in the end... He was, uh, they were successful in a way. I just like that this guy is called Franz. It's cool. Now, we can discourage someone from factions. Duke of Somerset. Threaten him. The little dwarf. Is he even in a faction? He's the court dwarf. <laughs> uh, he's a member of the Dominican Order. I mean, you know what? Fine, whatever. Let's. I don't care. L let's just let him be. Okay, 5,000 Bulgarians are now marching on our holdings. Doesn't really matter much. I think our our levies here will, will be able to uh, defend until our army arrives. Once our army arrives. Ah, it does arrive. Very good. And there seems to be some kind of sickness going on. I mean, I don't wish consumption upon my husband, but if he w happened to, you know, catch it, I certainly wouldn't mind. So that's kind of cool. And, ah, oh, look at this lovely queen. Queen of Brittany. And unfortunately, I cannot come. Huh. Well, that's truly unfortunate. But, oh well. 
Not much I can do about this. We will make our men march. This battle is going to be quite decisive. I think we can stand down these ships as well. No need to have them up. And yeah, I think that was an honorable effort on your part. But you're not going to last very long. And Duchess of Bedford could be threatened. I don't think I will. No. She's the wife of the Duke of Normandy. That's actually interesting. So you will get the Duchy of Bedford in Normandy. So this is going to create an even more powerful uh, House Van Tallinn. Okay. Well, we smashed your army. And that was probably a 100% war score. No, actually it was 75 precisely. Well, I guess we'll... Yeah, we'll march to your capital, besiege it, and that will be the end of it. Um, nothing else we need to do. Good job, husband. I, I gotta say, our husband is an exceptional commander. I mean, he's a bit of a craven. But so far, he's doing his job. Okay, one day we can assault, and that's actually not even it yet. To wait a few more days. We're over our vassal limit, which is kind of annoying. But we mean to become an empress anyway. Okay, so we've won this. We can stand down. And here's what I will do. I will first of all... Well, here's what I will try and do. Can I create the king of Bulgaria? Has ruled more than five years. We don't have the money. That's the whole issue. Okay, so once we do have the money, we can create the kingdom. And then we can get maybe some of these people as our vassals. They're both orthodox, so maybe not. There's now a defensive pact coming. That's not really surprising. And do I want this guy? No. Stop. I'm not coming to your stupid whatever feast. Okay, we're very threatening now. 25% almost. Old Pope is now a saint. Of course, he's Polish. Yeah. The new one is actually Franconian. Glory to God. And why do these stupid counts ask me if I... I'm their queen. Why would they expect their queen to attend their stupid tournaments? I don't know. Or weddings or whatever it is. So strange. You're defending against Duke Bohemond of Barcelona. Who seem to be winning as well. Alright. Anyway, can I form this... Nope. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I want to form this kingdom of Bulgaria. The Latin Empire. Ah, you know what? Byzantine Empire title has no holder. Now that the Byzantine Empire is back, we can't create the... Ah, damn it. We cannot create the empire because the Byzantines are around. We'd have to destroy them first. Oh, that sucks. Well, in this case, I've been thinking about maybe giving this guy back his duchy. Uh, just, just because, right? I mean, I never wanted to take it away from him. I just... Hmm. I could give him the duchy. This is part of Alakia. Ah, it's kind of... It's kind of tough to, tough to say, really. I could give this to my husband, but he's already going to be inheriting Croatia. So there's... Yeah, no reason to do that necessarily. Hmm. So... That sucks. No... And, and what about the kingdom, then? I mean, we could still create the kingdom, right? That should be possible. So all we need to do is rule for five years. Alright. Which we haven't, apparently? I mean, I guess not. Ha. Huh. Alright. Well, I guess in this case, we're just gonna have to sit back and... Yeah, let's see how long it takes. Uh, yeah, if we improve relations with our vassals and to have reign for 10 years, then this would be fine. We could change our uh, succession law, which I think is going to be our first 
our next goal, and then, only then, we might create the kingdom. But, uh, I think that was it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.